So um, the question is uh, how uh, Lancer for TAS-102 is different than 5-FU. So interestingly, they are both metabolites, anti-metabolites. They both inhibit uh, DNA replication at the level of bases. And uh, they were both synthesized by the same guy, Charlie Heidelberger, back in the early 60s. And um, the thing about the TAS-102 now because of the formulation with a metabolic inhibitor can be given orally twice a day. But 5-FU works by blocking an enzyme that makes thymidine and TAS-102 has trifluorothymidine in it so it's already uh, ready to be incorporated directly into the DNA and cause DNA damage. So they work a little differently in terms of how they interact with the DNA, uh, the 5 of you being more indirect. The good part, the interesting part of the Lancer story is that though, if you look in the, if you look in the laboratory uh, at cell lines that are resistant to 5 of you, they still will respond to uh, trifluorothymidine. So that's why uh, we have interest in using it in five of you refractory patients and maybe even earlier as a kind of a non-cross resistant anti-metabolite. So Stavarga or Rigorafenib uh, compared to five of you are completely different. You know, five of you is an anti-metabolite, it affects DNA, but uh, Rigorafenib is a multi-targeted kinase inhibitor, so it blocks a number of signaling molecules that are important for metastatic behavior and tumor growth. And that's basically PDGF, VEGF, and FGF. So by blocking those pathways, it kind of turns down the cell growth signals and causes stability of the tumor more or less.